you can also have more data if I'm not mistaken so let me put a comma and instead of customers let's put an array of fruits I don't know just to test it out okay ID of one with the name apple and nothing more now as you can see let me open it we have now the customers and the fruits and if you open that by control click we will see your array there so you can simply have your data here and you also can use posts and update data inside of those arrays using the json server that's why we are using it to have a easy way of building an api so we can use that with the application we are getting now now we have the base concepts on how to configure the oracle jet so we can use some rest apis so we can call them of course you can also load the jquery and use ajax to uh, to call it so as a javascript uses fetch i'm just using fetch as we don't need to import nothing but of course oracle jet includes jquery library by default in its node modules if i try to find it oh well jquery so you have jquery here so you can load that here directly or you can use a different one and you need to put that here like jquery so you can have more dependencies that can be installed inside the node modules and then we load that directly now let's refactor this so we can have a reusable function that encapsulates the fetch call inside the service gs and let me put that in the right and have that split so you can see both files we have the service and let me create here a new function a new method that will be the fetch data function that will receive the endpoint property in the fetch options object. Okay, here we will have the API URL that will use the build endpoint with the property we are receiving URL. Sorry, and then we will use that logic so try catch and then we'll return data from service or if we have an error we we'll return return no and here we need to fetch api url and then the at options that by default is null unless we give it a specific object and by now if we delete that and put const data from service equals to service utils dot fetch data and then get customers customers property uh, okay so const response and as it is async we need to await for that so await now we still have the the call let me uh where i was uh, is here so we have the data and then we can abstract that even more firstly let's open the json server documentation when we want to post something if you remember we have these 
customer services and we will load the service class service module here so we can use it and we are going to change this logic these params will hold hold value for our customer and we will call the service hotels and then fetch data function with an api url and then with the object in the config json we will have to see the post that will still have the same address we just need to change the type as content so here this object will have the content type application json so then the api url is still the same the get customers one is based on the get customers so this fetch data will build the endpoint for us and use the object we are passing in we have cost data equals to await and stop returning this and then we need to specify the fetch options object there is an object with headers with content type there is application json because we want the post method and then the body will hold our customer but it needs to be stringified we need to use the json.stringify now if you go to the page and let me put some values here one and then portugal and porto when you create this is the first console log here the one we received from the um, customer js file this module is sending the json service request with all the data about the customer and we are printing that out here and then we are also printing the data that is the response when we call our custom function the fetch data and give it the host method and the response we can see we have the same object properties but we also have the id so it created a unique id for you as it stored the new customer and if you go to dbjson you can see the new object here the one we have created with all the data there that we can also get it in the dashboard here because we are loading all the customers with the get method and we can see the last one we just had it we can also refactor this even more because we can just send the type of the method we want and then the fetch data can handle this object so I just what I did sorry if I copy this and put here just post and here I will have my method by default is nothing I will get here an if statement if method is equals to post then our let me put here let fetch options object which will be null and then the fetch object equals to this object and we need to receive also the data we want to pass in the body data body data to be more meaningful and the that object it will be passed so the body data will be given here by customer so right now if you go here we still have the get working because we are only changing if the method is given and it is post in the dashboard we are just getting the endpoint property and method is undefined so it will not enter here 
if we go to customers we can press here some example then very high value and let's put Lisbon and create and we received data and if you go here to the dashboard again we have six now instead of five customers and we can see the last one we had in the sum example one the fetch data function can get data and post data and then if you want another method with specific headers or specific way of doing something we can update the fetch data function and use always this function so this function let me update the comments um, execute the api requests according to the method and end point property we send we use okay and then it will return a promise with any it can be an array can be different data types so we can have a service that returns true or false a service that returns simply an array we know it will be param and not params this one method and body data config json property name for the endpoint we want to use the request method type the data to send if we are using a post method okay and here uh -huh, it will have this param um, and it returns a string url to use in the fetch uh, call description build the url based on the config json properties properties and the endpoint property and later we can handle this um, error for now let's leave it as that this is a string and any any type then we just stringify that okay so here we are doing what calling the save customer and inside of it we need to return now the data return data 